should get him with his crazy katana blade and have him destroy some serious things. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. We got a kitchen table I got full of things. All kinds of squishy stuff that are not tatami mats. First victim, an egg. That's extraordinary. The fact that you just cut a little cap off of it and leave the yolk intact, please. Oh, you did. Thank you. The yolk is on us. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Moving on up the food chain, it's time to go fishing. The salmon barely moves at all as the razor-sharp katana cuts diagonally through its backbone. Looks like a real efficient way to chop somebody in half. Not a lot of resistance to the blade. As nice. you can see, it just, it just moves right through it. We mentioned we found the tatami mat boring because although it simulated human flesh, it still looked like, well, a rug, which influenced our next choice of target. Pork, anyone? This is totally human. But it could have been worse. Japanese used to test their swords on prisoners, condemned prisoners. And uh, one particular very large limb guy, nobody wanted to test the sword on him because of the possibility of cracking edge on bone. Jung bone, that's Japanese, for the hardened edge of the sword. You're really cutting through human feeling tissue now. It even looks like an armpit. That is an armpit. Uh, Thanks for sharing, Jeff. Now we won't be able to get that image out of our mind. Shoulder blade. So this should be a much more real challenge. This feels to me pretty much how a human shoulder blade does. Actually, pigs don't tend to have much marrow. Their bones tend to be very thick and hard. So I Enough with the human stuff already. Go for it, James. All right. Look how big that bone is. James's katana cuts clean through Porky's bone, even on the diagonal. So that's all, folks. I still don't see barely any deceleration when you hit that bone. I can feel it click through. Sure. But it's right. gone through by the time, you know, it's gone. Watch again. Now back to the butcher shop for another target. All right, so bigger pig, more resistance, more bone, more flesh. Testing the upper limits of sword and swordsman, the warp crew hang an even larger hunk of pork. Will it make a difference? Okay, I think the difference was the scream. You totally didn't do that before. The last time was committed. It was going through. Before we're cutting more technically, that was a cut to cut him down, period. Pork chopped. Bones are just what evolved to make us structurally stable, and any kind of metal is so much harder than anything in yes. a human body. Now you warpies know that we often